uh, acetaminophen um, is a drug um, that's over the counter. Again, you might know this is Tylenol. Um, you should take no more than 4,000 milligrams in 24 hours. Um, if you drink um, much alcohol, you shouldn't take more than 3,000 milligrams a day. And be very careful because acetaminophen hides in a lot of other medicines. Um, any of the brand name medicines that end with set, like, you know, Percocet, any Darvacet, I don't, that's not around anymore, um, mean that it has acetaminophen in it. And one of the ways that people um, accidentally overdose on acetaminophen is they're taking it in different, they're taking Tylenol plus they're taking it, um, it, it in combinations with other drugs. And again, just be aware of the safety issues with over-the-counter medications. Uh, again, just because you have a whole bottle of it doesn't mean it's safe. Uh, people do die of acetaminophen overdoses every year, even though it's an over-the-counter drug. So don't think um, that because it's available over-the-counter that there aren't safety issues. Many people do not realize the benefits. We use it around perioperative pair, meaning um, preparing you before surgery, use um, Tylenol to help uh, improve pain control. And it actually helps opioids work better in the um, perioperative set setting, which means the setting before and after your surgery. So Tylenol is an excellent option that we use both in the hospital, but also you can use at home and you can alternate with, um, with anti-inflammatories. Just like Dr. Kwa said, we do have to be mindful do not want to lead into liver disease. I typically tell my patients to stay under 3,000 milligrams. So your extra strength Tylenol is typically around 500 milligrams. 